Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about the M.2 SSD drive, the differences and what sort of adapter that you need in order to pull the data or your information out of the M.2 drive. All right, so let's begin with this one here. This is the M.2 NVMe drive. Uh, this one only has the M key on it. Right, so this is the full size, which is the longest one. It comes with a different sizes. Some of them are like the medium size, and this is the shortest, the small size of it, right? So they are all the same connector that runs on the M key. So it's actually five pins on the short one, and I'm not sure how many pins on this one. I should have looked it up, but yeah, I only remember five pins on the short one. And if you look carefully here, it does say M on it. You see the M? Or you should look at it this way. And it shows M. So this is 5 pin connector, M key. And the M key, you can insert into this adapter here. So this is the M2 reader. So once you insert, make sure that the M2 drive is not at 45 degree angle. So you need to be flattened like this. So what you can do is you can get a tape and just tape it around while holding it. So once you have the thing inserted and ready to plug into any computer USB drive, so once you plug it in, you should be able to pull your information out, um, access the data off of this drive. Okay, so again, this adapter here, you can get it from Amazon. I'll list them in the description below. So if your hard drive looks something like this, only have one little gap, okay, that is the NVMe M2 M key drive, okay. Same thing for the medium size. You can move the uh, this lock right here, move it downwards and lock it in. Or you can use a tape for that. And this is the full size, okay. So let's put this on the side. Let's come and talk about the difference of this M2 SSD drive. So this one, it comes with M and B. So if you take a look here, it says M and B key. So M key, B key, you can see the two little tiny ones here. Okay, so this M2 drive can only be read by this reader adapter. So this reader adapter, although it doesn't have the M and B, but it can, this is the right adapter to use. So you can insert like this, and then use a tape to tape it down. Make sure it is flat. And it comes with this SATA cable adapter. You plug it in. This is just a regular SATA. Plug it in. And you can connect this cable to any USB computer. Once you plug it in, you can pull the information out of the, the data out of the drive. And hopefully, you can recover all your information. Now, there are differences. So, this hard drive looks a bit different compared to this hard drive right here. But it is the same function that it says M and B on it as well. So, you do need to have the M, B, um, M and B adapter reader for that purpose. Okay. Now let's move on to the next. This is a little bit special. This is what we call the M SATA. The M SATA, you can actually plug into this one, the smaller slot, and this would recover the data. Okay, it's the same process, but you just need to have the right adapter for that. Again, and all this adapter, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. You can take a look and hopefully you have the um, the right hard drive with the, with the correct reader so that you can pull the information out. And I hope that this video is helpful. If you find the video is helpful, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you for doing that. And if you have any question, comment below. I will try to answer those questions for you.
All right, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.